Hi, in this episode of Toys Bag Sand, we're going to be taking a look at this War Duke D&D figure. These came out in 1982, and I bought this recently at a toy show, and it was complete, but the head was broken off. So we're going to repair this War Duke and restore him. His head was previously glued on, so we're going to do the old Lego trick that Dave from Toy Poloi has shown everybody, and I'm going to try to do it with this. But I think that this is going to be a little tricky because there is a mechanism in there that allows you to move the arm up and down. And we don't want to drill into that mechanism, so we're going to drill this out and see uh, what it looks like inside, but also we're going to fix this head. Now I found a couple pieces of Lego that we can use. There's this black piece and um, I think this is the one that I'm going to use. I'm using 11 64ths drill bit and that's what I'm going to use to drill it out. This drill bit here is a little too small so we want to make sure that it's a tight fit but we want to make sure that it will fit in. Here's the other Lego piece that I was thinking about using but I think I'm going to use the black uh, Lego piece. I think this one's going to work best. I still want this head to articulate and also be able to use the play feature that it has. So I'm going to just cut this piece of Lego in half because we don't need all of it. If this didn't have the mechanism inside then I would probably use the whole piece but since I can't uh, put too much of this Lego piece into the body I'm just going to use a little bit of it. So the next step is drilling this out. So I've already drilled the body. I'll show you that here in a minute because I forgot to film that part. But we're going to drill out the head probably about a quarter of an inch into the head. And there's our hole there, looks pretty good. Now here's the inside of the figure. You can see there's some gears in there and that's what elevates the arm up and down and you can see I've got my Lego piece in there I glued it in but you can see that I made a mistake my drill bit kinda of wandered off a bit and went over to the right so we're gonna fix that if you're into woodworking which I am uh, you can make your own wood filler by using pieces of sawdust and glue and we're gonna do the same thing I'm gonna take the plastic that I drilled out of the head and I'm gonna use that and mix that with some Gorilla Glue. The nice thing about Gorilla Glue is it actually doesn't cure super fast so it gives you some time to work with it. If you're going to use like crazy glue or something like that, that stuff uh, sets really quickly and then just if I was to put crazy glue on this you would just end up having a big ball of plastic before I could even fill the hole. So with the Gorilla Glue I think we can make a filler for this and we'll fill that hole and uh, we just have to be careful not to get any glue into the gears so that the play feature still works. getting rid of some of those big chunks and then once this is kind of flattened out a little bit I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to clean as much of the Gorilla Glue off this piece as possible. We want to have a nice clean uh, flat area and I want to make sure that the Lego piece there too 
is nice and cleaned off because I want that to fit the head still so so I'm gonna let that dry for probably overnight and we'll come back the next day and uh, see if that peg is gonna be super strong so that we can put the head on it and still articulate it it's the next day and uh, that peg is really in there really strong it's not going anywhere and that head fits on really good it doesn't fall off but it still allows us to turn it like it would naturally do before it was broken so that was a good fix the first time I ever used uh, those style of Lego pieces to fix heads usually I would just use a, a small uh, piece of antenna or something like that but because it was already glued in there uh, I had to drill that out so I think this is a really good fix and thanks to Dave at Toy Poloi for showing us how to do that for years these other D&D figures they don't have any play features but what they do have is they have like an o-ring style waist in them unlike G.I. Joe you can't unscrew them and they also have metal rivets in the arms so uh, I had to clean all of these and when I did that I did it very gently hey look the Dungeons and Dragons ride wow neat give me a break I don't like this LJN also made these figures too they're more like statues they're just made out of rubber or PVC and they didn't have any play features or articulation so uh, that's just another uh, type of figure that they used to make so next we're going to get some paint out and do some mixing I've got to do some brown and there's a little bit of black that's missing and a little bit of red so I'm just gonna mix a little bit of brown and black and uh, make this kind of a darker brown it's not too dark but it's darker than the brown I'm using so I'm gonna mix that up and we'll do some painting and if you're interested to know I am using Vallejo acrylic paints and I have a lot of this paint I'm going to be trying to use as much of it up as possible because I just bought some Humbrol enamel paints and I like the durability of enamel paint way more than this acrylic stuff so it's pretty soon I'll get that uh, that enamel paint and I'm excited to have that because I haven't used enamel in a while and I do like it better going to put some satin varnish on these figures. I also did some paint touch-ups on a couple of the other figures in behind there. A little bit of black, a little bit of red while I already had it mixed. I used it uh, to touch up some of the other figures. So let's get this varnish on and uh, we'll let that dry.
here he is, all geared up and ready to fight. His articulation still works, his play feature still works, and I think he looks fantastic, especially with some of that paint fixed up. And his head still turns, and uh, it stays on pretty tight. So that was really cool. I'm super excited to have this figure in my collection. And uh, I'm going to probably be doing a little bit more repairs on these figures. If you want me to film that, please let me know. I've got to make some capes, and I've got to make some other things to make some of these figures uh, look a little better. The guy, the tall guy in the back, he's missing a part of the crotch, so I'm thinking about repairing that. And I want to make a cape for the wizard, too. So thanks for watching this episode of Toys Bag Zen. Please like and subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of these figures and my repair. Take care. See you later.